The South Sea Hotel has been welcoming guests for 150 years. The Royal Beach Hotel is among 50 of the oldest in the country. Its past guests include British royalty and even a certain rock and roll 60s band from Liverpool. Our reporter Stephanie Bosse went to discover some of its oldest features. The Royal Beach Hotel was popular with the Victorians. The seaside promenade was perfect for parading in one's best dresses. And most of the bedrooms were connected to smaller rooms so that families could bring along their children and their maids. We've been everything. We've been the city hall when the city hall was bombed during the war. Also been a hospital. Been a hospital twice during the First World War and the Second World War. We've been a lookout post uh, during the Second World War as well. It was also during this tumultuous time that King George VI and Queen Elizabeth came to the hotel for lunch. A moment of great pride for the Royal Beach. The King and Queen visited the Royal Beach for lunch and afterwards inspected uh, the police and other dignitaries on the pier opposite. And it was a wonderful occasion to have all the hundreds of people outside the hotel welcoming the monarchs. In 1911, the hotel suffered a major fire to its top floors, but it carried on trading. During the refurbishment, the hotel installed the famous chandeliers which still hang in the dining room. The pigeonholes in our, in our reception area, uh, back in the days of the 1950s when we used to have huge keys, have uh, now been replaced by modern day locks. But we've retained the pigeonholes because it was part of the old history. If you can imagine, especially in the bucket and spade era of the 1950s and 60s, coming on off the beach, straight in and grabbing their key. That's the sort of days we want to preserve. The post-war years were a bit more difficult for the hotel and some of the rooms were rented out as offices. But eventually things started looking up again in the early 60s. Even the Beatles came to stay on three separate occasions. The hotel has undergone various refurbishments and efforts to modernize some of the facilities. But ultimately the wish is to preserve some of its historical features and anecdotes for another 150 years. A lot more people are interested in history and I can only see us enhancing that history, finding out even more and preserving even more. This is Stephanie Bosset for That Solent.